What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for December. The series where you show off some of the best tech you can find under that price point. And this is great timing for the holidays coming up, maybe some things you can add to your wish list or get ideas to buy someone else. If you see anything you'd like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But also, shout out to last month's winners and been in contact with you so you can claim your tech from November's episode. And if you want to win today, all you have to do is hit that thumbs up button down below. Make sure you're subscribed. Obviously, I'm only picking subscribers and comment your favorite item and why you like it. Now, kicking us off today is actually a very affordable $35 smart video doorbell. Boom. So first up at this price, this is definitely going to be a great pickup for someone who has a stock doorbell or if you finally just want to get an upgraded video doorbell like this for when you receive deliveries, you don't keep count of those packages you get, have to sign for some things and also obviously that extra added layer of security now. But one of the biggest selling points to me is the fact you can use this wirelessly. You don't have to use it hardwired to your house's electrical, although you can. But now with it being wireless, you can stick it really wherever you want. It's got a very wide frame of view of 1080p video, night vision as well. So if someone's, you know, ringing the door at midnight, you could see who it is or what it is. Got two-way audio. Video quality, I think, is also pretty damn good, you know? For 1080p, looks nice and crisp. Outside, if you're seeing like, you know, direct sunlight, it might be a little blown out and overexposed at some times, but you're not gonna have any problems really identifying a face or facial features if someone does, you know, ring the bell. I personally use this at my side door on the house where for whatever reason, some companies leave a lot of packages, even though we have a covered front porch. So there, I had this there. So when I get deliveries, they can ring the doorbell and it'll let me know. So they're not sitting at that side door for like two, three days. I think this is personally a great pickup if you live in an apartment. You know, for example, a lot of times you can't just, you know, hardwire a smart doorbell to the hallway of your apartment's complex. So with this, wirelessly stick it all up, monitor all from your phone, or again, someone who doesn't, you know, have a smart doorbell with a video on it, um, grandparents, your parents, a great $35 gift idea. And with this, you don't actually even need, you know, uh, the subscription. You don't need an extra sort of module to have it sync. It's all done to your phone. There are subscriptions tiers and stuff you can pay for, but it's not necessary. You could still save videos for 14 days or 30 days onto your phone. The only thing is you don't get with the live subscription is like a live video feed 24 seven. You only get that feed when someone rings the doorbell and it alerts you on your phone. And then like during the two way talk and stuff, you could monitor video and such, but yes, it's free subscription, not required. An altogether impressive solution for that price of 35 bucks. It's typically 50. I saw it on sale recently for 35. Definitely a good upgrade or a gift idea. Next, we have the Lian Li Uni AL120 RGB fans. And what I love about this is the simplicity and how they make connecting these and hooking them up just a breeze. So they use this pretty much daisy chaining system. Each fan has these sort of magnetic pogo pins where they snap and lock into each other. You can daisy chain up to four fans at once. And instead of having one cable for each fan, it only uses one cable for that fan output and then an extra cable for the RGB. And for that RGB, it is absolutely crazy. There's a ton of preset effects and stuff on their software to make these things really shine because with the white version, you know, the fan itself sort of translucent, the RGB light is in the middle. So it just shines super, super bright with this unit. They do make an SL fan model, which just has the RGB on like on the bezel of the fans. But here I like the AL model better because the, the whole interior just shines crazy. I recently added eight of these to my new build. Don't worry, you'll see this video very, very soon, probably tomorrow if I have enough time to finish editing this. So again, the point of connectivity here in the daisy chaining makes these really easy to hook up and mount. Once you have a bunch of them synced and going onto the RGB, your PC will look nuts and cable management will be so, so much easier. While the RGB looks nice for sure, I like to keep it at a static color. For my new Mr. Freeze build, I'm keeping it nice and white, sometimes like a light blue, but they just look very, very vibrant and crazy. Now for a single fan, they're usually around like 30 or $35. However, you can get a pack of three, which comes with their fan controller then for a hundred bucks. So that's the better value. But again, since one is still under 50, you can add one to your build. It still fits the series and it's definitely cool. So I wanted to show it off for you guys. If you need new fans that are powerful and quiet and look insane, these could definitely be your next pickup. They sell them in both black and white. So again, depending on your build theme, your colors and stuff, pick between whichever one fits your build the best. 
Now we have this mica soundbar. What I love about this is first the visuals. It looks nice and modern and sleek. You got that nice dark black wooden veneer. I saw they also have like a lighter walnut wooden color as well. Again, just buy whatever color fits your setup aesthetic the best, but looks wise, very nice. You have the grill right there in the front with dual five watt speakers inside for that true stereo audio playback. There is a volume dial on the right side with this illuminated scroll wheel. And on the back, you have both an aux port and USB-C for power, but also built in is Bluetooth. So you can choose to, you know, just wire them with the aux port or connect wirelessly. You got both options. Now, is this soundbar gonna change your life and blow you away? No, it's just around 40 bucks. Don't expect some Sonos soundbar quality coming out of this. But for a desktop solution, you know, at this affordable price point, if you're looking for something just to, you know, play music, you know, put it right under your monitor, if you're watching movies or videos, it'll be just fine. It'll be fine for gaming as well, but keep in mind, it's not gonna blow you away. It does get decently loud at full volume, which is nice to see. A lot of times these cheaper sound bars sort of get muffled and they don't really, you know, put out a high tone of audio. Definitely gets loud enough, I'd say. So again, if you're looking for a on your desktop, under your monitor, sort of soundbar solution that looks nice, sounds good, and it has Bluetooth for just 40 bucks, definitely a nice pickup on a budget. Now, next up, I get asked all the time about custom coil cables for your keyboard builds. Obviously, ones that aren't gonna be like above 80 bucks as well. These from Akko are just 20 bucks each. They're these really nice sort of dual tone rubber cables that have obviously the coil, an aviator connector in the middle, and with the color combos, you can mix and match and then match them to your keyboard or your keycap set. Again, at just around 20 bucks here, very hard to complain. It's obviously gonna be USB-C, so if your keyboard has removable USB-C, you'll be in luck. I know the metal aviator connector in the middle is definitely a nice, you know, stylish preference amongst the community, so here, you've got that. But what I really like is the two tones here. They have a bunch of different colors you can pick from from Amazon. And with those two tones, it'll just give, you know, a more of an accented color piece to your keyboard or to your desktop. And then that way, like I said, say you want to buy maybe two and then mix and match those two different cables to have different colorways, you can. The cable is five feet long in total. Uh, like I said, it is not braided. It is that rubber cable all throughout. But the quality is really nice. You know, it's good enough to make me want to show it off for you guys today and recommend it. So again, without breaking the bank for a custom coil cable for your keyboard or your setup, you can use this with whatever. It doesn't have to just be your keyboard, obviously. These Akko Custom Aviator Cables for 20 bucks, I think is pretty damn nice. And then speaking of which, to go right along with that are these really nice cubic translucent keycaps from Taihao. Absolutely love these. You can see here, have the Echo cable with this sort of Christmas theme built, but also this just, whoo, smoky quartz on the charcoal, icky 68 Aurora. Man, and the keycaps are more than affordable. So taihao has been making some really great stuff recently. I love their keycaps, but they're always making new sets, new selections and designs. But this translucent backlit keycap set, I think is a stunner. They're an ABS cubic profile set. The green and red one I have here, I think makes for like a perfect Christmas theme build that I showed. The total set comes with a few extra novelty keys and some yellow accented ones as well for some extra pops of color. And you get some clear keycaps inside the box as well. But the smoky quartz set on my Icky 68 Aurora, I just think is nuts. It matches that dark sort of polycarbonate look so, so well. And man, in terms of aesthetics, these translucent caps look sick. If you're wondering what that sort of like foam sort of appearance is on the inside of the keycaps, um, it's just the way these keycaps are made. I don't know the entire name or the process of it, but that variation amongst each key is normal. So these vary between 30 to $45, depending on the color or like the, the exact keycap set you're getting. But they have a blue one, we have the green one, there's the atomic purple and a purple bloom set, as well as a smoky quartz option available. Like I said, I just have the smoky quartz and the green, but the fact you have different colors is cool. I mean, come on, like, you know it looks good. If you got a polycarbonate keyboard or any sort of translucent shell to your keyboard, these are gonna be a great visual upgrade and they don't break the bank. Like I said, between 30 to 45 bucks and it beats a GMK set where you have to wait three years for it to show up at your doorstep after you spent like 250 bucks. So yeah. All right guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech Under 50 for December. Hope you all enjoyed, like I said, Everything you saw today will be listed for you in the description down below. Got the holidays coming up, maybe some things to add to your wish list or gift ideas for someone else. 
But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.